Hello, this is Hazunat. Today, I want to teach you something that you can't learn from the Japanese language school. It's about internet meme or internet slang in Japanese. Let's go! I realized that recently on the TikTok caption, Twitter X, they can translate the word, but those kind of things you can't translate directly because the meaning is a bit different, right? So I decided to do it on a video so that you can actually start joking about it or you're gonna know the reference when the Japanese people make. The first one, kusa hairu. Kusa hairu. Or people say kusa, 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 kusa. So the kusa means grass. And then kusa hairu means grass is growing. Grass is growing. Because like English speakers use LOL, we use W. Because uh, warau, that means to laugh. Wa lau, so w a r a u. So we used to use warau, the kanji warau, at the end, but it became simpler and it became w. And then when people lot of w, it looks like there is a grass on the ground. That's why people started to say, oh, kusa hairua. That was so funny, the grass will grow on the ground. That's how we use it. But it becomes shorter than kusa hairu. It gets kusa 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 kusa. So if you see a grass 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 on the captions, that person is laughing. That's the reference. <laughs> Number two, inka yoka. Inka means introvert. Yoka means extrovert. And an inka uh, using the ink is a dark. Not in a good way of saying dark. And a yo is a positive. Positive person means inter extrovert and a dark person is an introvert. To refer to the extrovert introvert, we have a lot of memes. The big internet meme to refer to the inka, the introvert person, is chigi. This picture was viral on the internet. So this is the image of the people who orders uh, cheese gyudon at Skia, which is the big gyudon chain. And then cheese gyudon, shorten chigi. So when people say, oh, he's such a chigi, it's very insulting. It's like, oh, you're so virgin and then no girls like you, no boys like you, no popular. The kind of image. It's a nerd, I would say. The translation can be nerdy. But there is also a very negative way to call the yoka people, the extrovert people. It's called the yarirafi. So Yarirafi is uh, quoted from the song, the Swedish song, I think. This song. But we hear the lyric from this song is like a Yarirafi. So we heard that word like a Yarirafi because uh, those people were dancing on a TikTok with this song. So why? We have a kind of insulting word for the extrovert because those people play the music loudly no matter what they don't care about the rules and they just kind of annoy people when they need their space it's like yeah oh yeah let's have a drink blah, blah, blah. So no matter low educated they're just extrovert the loud voice they don't respect the people yeah they just don't hesitate to talk to other people but they don't have a manner those people we call them as a yari rafi <laughs> and number three if I translate directly, it means frognized phenomenon. Frog is a frog, the green animal frog. So this is used like ik, which is um, you really like the person, you really love that person, but with a one action that shouldn't be the turned off, but somehow you're turned off. I was like, well. I got kaeruka. Kaeruka shita wa. That was kaeruka. Like that was ik, how you use it. That's used a lot in uh, social media. Please let me know if you want to know. Also, if you have any English uh, slangs or meme that you want me to translate and then find a Japanese term, also let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for seeing and I hope to see you using that in my chat. Not the insulting one, but <laughs> in a joke wise, okay? See you soon! Don't forget to follow my Instagram for the daily update. Don't forget to follow my Twitch for the more Pepe Meltdown journey. If you don't know what to follow, just go to hazanatsu.com. Thank you for watching!